let's talk about invest. So, so like the swing here. Mm-hmm. So that extra hundred thousand, I think I saved like a hundred thousand dollars last week mm-hmm. in taxes. Yeah. So my hundred thousand dollars giving to the government, mm-hmm. or just next year hundred thousand dollars at a ten percent return on my money, that now is a hundred ten thousand. Compound it now. It's mm-hmm. another hundred and thirty thousand. Totally. Now it's another. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah, totally. And it's yeah. like over the next ten years, that hundred thousand dollars used right. Yeah. Didn't just cost me a hundred thousand mm-hmm. dollars. And tax just gave it to the government. I never but the that. opportunity cost. But the opportunity cost. Yeah. And I think a lot of people don't count or weigh that compounding opportunity cost mm-hmm. for one their expenses and two the money they would they would spend on tax. And I think you probably have seen a lot of examples of you know fast forward five years, yeah. fast forward ten years. You're like, yeah. Wow where you're at oh yeah. Yeah. yeah and you wouldn't believe how many people are that are extremely successful end up with zero dollars because they spend it on things that that yeah. that, that are you know uh that that are not beneficial yeah. that are ways that aren't gonna it doesn't come yeah. down their network. there's so many guys where you're like man they must be living so well they drive all the fancy cars they have the nicest clothes they have all these things yet they don't have anything that's it, there's no assets it's mm-hmm. all liability when everybody does this door to door job mm-hmm. or direct sales for financial freedom, yeah. they're like, hey, I want to do this to be financially free. Yeah. And they never I, get there. I, I say financial freedom is a myth. It's, yeah. it's kind of this you won't get there living the normal lifestyle of the yep. door to door guy. Yeah. And, and I think financial freedom to me is being able to live within your needs, mm-hmm. but let your wealth compound mm-hmm. way above your needs. Yeah. Not like, like what happens yeah. is people's lifestyles change as their income changes. Yep. And I go, well, you're in the same spot. Yeah. You just drive a different car. Yeah. Like, yeah. You're still stressed. You're still trying to make rent payment. You're still trying to, you know, like, like that. that is so bondage. That is such incarceration, right? And so mm-hmm. do you find, have you found any strategies that have helped people alleviate this stress of finance and helped alleviate and, and create more financial freedom? Like, have you seen any good vehicles for our industry? Yeah. There? I don't know. Zach, <clears throat> what do you think? Yeah, so... Um, you know, there's a lot of good spots for it. I think, um, I think number one, that you've got to have your 401k growing for you. Why? Because that 401k, it's not just like putting your money in Robin Hood and, you know, you're going to make money 10%, whatever. Think about it. Um, <clears throat> God, I can't get this out of my throat, but if you think about it, it, it's, uh, yeah, let me take a drink real quick. This is my favorite topic, by the way. So 401k is... Roth IRAs. Yeah, we yeah. got to show them like. Yeah, what's it, let me ask you this: What's the average age of the door-to-door rep that you found? Twenty-four. Okay. So play the seventy-two rule okay, with I'll do that somebody twenty-four. Quick. Yeah. So um, first off, when you when you put money into your four hundred one k, you're not just getting the amazing growth that's going to happen in that account. You're also getting an amazing tax deduction. So it's one of the only places you can just put money in and instantly gain um, net worth because. If you've got the exact same amount of assets, right, you put your cash into a 401k, your assets stay the same, but now your liabilities are less. Mm -hmm. So your net worth just grew. Um, You can't normally do that. If you put money into a house, your net worth doesn't grow at all. It stays the same. So with this 401k, you're, you're getting that awesome instant growth rate, but then you're also getting the growth of the account. So you've got to do the rule 72 to see what it's gonna be. But let's say you're let's say you're 24, right? Mm-hmm. And you've got 41 years till you have to pull from retirement. Because I say half because I want people to get their their mind their thinking right. You don't when when you don't want to pull your money out of retirement. You want that money to be your compounding machine for until your death. So that's how I look at it anyway. Yeah. So you go like this. You say what what rate do you hope to hit? We hoped it through Fortress Financial, our financial firm, we hope to hit 14% annually. But let's say you hit 12. So we're gonna go 72 divided by 12. That gives you six. That means that your money's gonna double every six years. So now we go 41, because you have 41 years. So 41 divided by six. That means your money will double 6.83 times. So if we, if you, over do, the 40 over the 41 yeah, years yeah. if you do yeah. all you can to put in 30 grand that first year let's say you made 60 you you do everything possible to put in 30 watch what it does for you so you put in 30,000 you have times two times two times two times two well 6.8 yeah so just say like seven times two times two times 
3,333. And you've got 3,519,000. That's a one-time payment of $30,000, and it's going to double every six years and get to yeah. that amount by the time you're 65. Yeah. One time. 30 grand. That 30 yeah. grand turns into 3.5 million. Taxes. If you, uh, if you had a 12% yeah. interest rate over that time, then yes. And that's mathematical fact, so it's not like, oh, well, he says it's going to make that much. If you're making 12%, which is not real difficult. Well, run, it make, 10%, run it at 10%, run it at 8%, and you'll just, still see that it's that's compounding interest. Now you got to see the difference between 3%. Watch what happens when you go 72 divided by 15. Because we're, we're going to make well over 15. You're going to make well over 15. Because I think your business is probably just about doubled every year since you started. So you're you're at 100% plus. We're at 100% plus. We 16x year over year. Mm -hmm. So... If, if we continue to do cool things like that, think of the compounding behind this. But we go 72 divided by 15% gives you 4.8. means your money will double every 4.8 years. So now we go 41 divided by 4.8, and you've got 8.54. So now we're going to take that 30,000 and go times 2 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 times two times one point, was it five, three? I thought it was four, but yeah, it might've been. Okay, we'll try whatever. four or three. Okay, um, so that's 10,982,000. <laughs> the difference between three percent. Yeah. yeah. And the younger you start, the more it's gonna double, the more times it'll it'll yeah. go through. So. But that's the exact same amount yeah. of years, just making 3% more okay. per year. So, yeah. yeah, imagine if we did so you know, seven million difference. This it's, guy's in the hundred millions from one thirty thousand dollar payment. And he could continue putting yeah, more money put in. Uh -huh. yeah. Exactly. What's so, the max yeah. you can put into a Roth? So it's uh, through a 401k, you can do 19500 plus 25% of your comp compensation, which means your wage from your um, S Corp to you. So you could probably put in like 50000 or so. If married, then you can put in an additional nineteen five for your wife. Um, into the IRAs and, and uh, traditional or Roth IRAs, 6000 a piece. Yeah. So really, most of the time, I just say skip over the IRAs. Just do the 401ks yeah. because you want to do bigger amounts. And the, a lot of people get confused Roth and traditional, right? The reason why you want a tax plan is because he can help you yeah. whether you need a tax shelter yeah. or you need you, you don't need that much savings in taxes. So put it into a Roth yeah. because then it goes in taxed. But taxes aren't going to lower over the next 30 yeah. years. They're going to continually rise. So in some strategies, it's good to do Roth. In others, it's good to do traditional. Meaning when you take your money out, you get taxed on it versus yeah. you get you, taxed on when you put, you it, put it in. Yeah, you can get a tax it. break now or later. Yeah. I like the tax break now because of compounding interest and that savings now. To me, the, the time value of money shows that it's worth so much more now than later, especially when you've got a great tax planning accountant with you who's going to help you to create a rental prop property empire which by the way is not that hard to do yeah um and so we're going to do that i mean over five years i can help you create a good little nest of you know homes but try 20 years we're going to be able to get you a, a thousand units and then by that time when you retire you don't it, it's best that you had done a traditional ira every year because I, we're going to have so much depreciation um from the homes that you're buying the huge properties you're buying that yeah that you're, you'll be able to pull from your yeah. 401k and it'll be taxed next to nothing. And and if you're using cost segregation, then you're you're yeah. you're flowing through those properties every five to seven years anyway. Yeah. So you're just going to sell and do a, a yeah. 1031 exchange on any property that you're selling. So there's there's again there's infinite numbers of things that you can be doing. But if you're not tax planning, it doesn't matter because yeah. the only thing you're doing is you're preparing yourself to pay money. That's it. That's you're just preparing yeah. yourself to pay money in tax. I love that. So, yeah. I love that. Yeah. If, if you're not tax planning, you're preparing. You're yeah. planning to pay. More. Yeah, you are. <laughs> yes. Yeah. That's, yeah. Cool. Yeah. That. that's it. So, yeah, we found, I mean, th there's so many cool things that we're, that we're working on too. There's, uh, we're going to start uh, doing family management accounts. So we're going to start helping people do this cost segregation on their rental properties or on their, uh, their, their, you know, big units or their commercial buildings or whatever. Yeah. There's what else are we planning? We will be doing those ourselves yeah. too and offering different investments 
to anyone that's a COS client. Yeah. So that's probably the biggest thing that we're offering is, yeah. is that. Because, you get Zach's insight into yeah. that property and how it's going to save you on be, tax I'll, and get you a, yeah. a cash flow. That's and awesome. I'll be putting together deals that are home run deals because obviously um, if it's a home run deal, we're going to grow like crazy. And how can I make sure it's a home run deal? Well, I can because if I do a multi-unit property or um, commercial property, well, we're growing across the nation. So while we're growing across the nation, we're gonna we're gonna rent out entire two floors of a six floor huge building here in Lehigh, and so it's almost instantly cash flowing. Mm -hmm. So when I say I can make it a home run, that's not just me saying that to get people's money. It's me knowing that, and we will make it a home run, and people will make you know 40, 50 percent year one. Um, so so yeah, big big goals like that. Yeah. I love that. I love that.